Hey y'all, welcome back to another one. Today we'll be looking at another fur bearer profile. Before we get to that, we'd like to take a moment and ask you to please like and subscribe to Outdoor Experiences. We have made over a hundred videos for this channel so far, and we'd like to continue it. As every like and subscriber helps out, please don't forget to do that. Now today's fur bearer profile is Taxida Texas, or the American Badger. What is the badger and what do they look like? The badger is a somewhat flat, thick-necked, broad-shouldered mammal with short, powerful legs, sharp teeth, and one-inch long claws. Badgers enjoy being underground most of the time. They also can be violent fighters if cornered, but typically they don't go out looking for trouble. In fact, the badger is quite tolerant of other animals when and will even share its own den with a red fox. Badgers are typically 20 to 35 inches long and adult males weigh around 24 pounds and females weigh about 17 pounds. They have a distinctive white stripe that runs from their nose over its head to the nap of its neck. Badger fur is yellowish gray, long and very thick. What is the life cycle of a badger? Badgers mate in August or September. After the eggs are fertilized, the embryos develop slightly and then lie dormant for several months. In late winter, they begin developing again. Usually three babies are born between March and June. They have fur, but their eyes remain shut for four to six weeks. The mother takes care of them by herself until they leave the den in the fall. What does a badger eat for food? The badger primarily feeds on mice, ground squirrels, and gophers, and it's only predator that can dig out a deep burrowing pocket gopher. Badgers are also fond of snails, grasshoppers, bird eggs, honey, insect larvae, and snakes. Where do badgers live? Badgers are nocturnal creatures. During cold weather, they keep to their burrows, probably in a state of dormancy. They prefer open prairie, but will also make their homes in farmland. They dig intricate den system and, at the end of the long tunnel, build a grass-lined nest. How do I trap badgers? Many people trap badgers with foothold traps using simple dirt hold sets. Short change or short stakes are not recommended because the badger may dig out the stake and escape. It is not uncommon for the area around a foothold set to look like a bomb crater as the badger attempts to evacuate this trap. Mice and rodent lure slash bait works very well as that is the badger's typical food source. But most baits and lures used for fox and coyote will also attract badgers. Pricing for badgers is around $20 to $30. Many trappers find it much more beneficial to tan and keep the furs for other projects than selling it. Here are some fun facts about badgers. First one up, badgers are known to be excellent digging machines. Their powerfully built forelimbs allow them to tunnel rapidly through the soil. They construct underground burrows from per, for protection and sleeping. A typical badger den may be as far as a 10 foot below the surface, containing about 32 feet of tunnels and an enlarged sleeping chamber. Badgers use multiple burrows within their home range. Number two. In some parts of the U.S., badgers have been known to hunt alongside coyotes. In these short-term alliances, badgers take advantage of prey driven underground by the coyote, while the coyote also benefits from burrowing prey, like ground squirrels, chased above ground by the badger. This is an example of mutual, mutualism in which animals of different species work together to meet their individual needs. The American badger has been seen working with a coyote in tandem while hunting. Typically, this pairing is one badger to one coyote. However, one study found about 9% of the sightings include two coyotes to one badger, 
while 1% had one badger and three coyotes. Researchers have found that coyotes benefit from the increased catch rate of about 33%, but it is difficult to see how precisely the badger benefits. Number three, the American badger's use of home range varies with season and sex. Different areas of the home range are used more frequently at different seasons and are usually related to prey availability. Males generally have larger home ranges than females. In a 1972 study, radio transmitted American badgers had an average annual home range of 2,100 acres. The home range of one female was 1,790 acres in the summer, 131 acres in the fall, and 5 acres in the winter. Estimated dis density of American badgers in Utah scrub step was 1 per square mile, with 10 dens in active or recent use. As of 2014, overdevelopment of American badger habitat has resulted in reduced range, decreased prey, and forced badgers into contact with humans when foraging between fragments. Thanks again for watching this episode of Outdoor Experiences. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll do our best to answer. If you have a fur bearer that you'd like us to cover in the next fur bearer profile, put that down there in the comments section too. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.